subscribe and press bell icon to get notifications of latest videos hello everyone my name is mridula and welcome to our youtube channel tweak library today i am going to talk about how to link your computer to your smartphone using the inbuilt your phone app in windows your phone app frees you from your dilemma of constant switching between your pc and your smartphone moreover it allows instant access to your recent photos and texts from android and make web pages from iphone available on pc so let's talk about how to set up your phone app for both android and iphone let's start with your pc go to start menu and type your phone in the search box and press enter to launch the app note that your phone app is pre-installed in windows 10 version 1809 or you can get it from microsoft store before starting this, make sure you have internet connection for your PC and the phone. Now you need to sign in your Microsoft account. If you don't have one, click on create. On the next page, click on link phone. On the next page, enter your phone number and a link will be sent to your phone. First we will talk about Android phone. Open the message, click on the link and it will take you to your phone companion app page on Google Play Store. Download and install the app. Launch the app and sign in with the same Microsoft account that you used on PC. It will prompt you to give app permissions to access photos, media, files on your device, to view and send messages, to access contacts. Always run the app in the background. Allow all these permissions to help your Android phone connect with your PC. Now you will get a page, set up your phone app on your PC. Here you will get two options, show me, which takes you to the instructions on how to set up the app for PC and my PC is ready. As we are already done with the setup on PC, click on my PC is ready. A phone notification will appear, allow this phone to connect to your phone on PC. Click allow. Once done, the status changes to connected to your PC. Now your Android phone and PC are connected. Go to settings located at the bottom of the screen and turn on the option to allow the app to show photos and text. How to access photos using your phone app? Click the photos option. You can see 25 recent images from your camera roll and screenshot folder from your Android phone. You can now easily share, copy or edit the images. How to send text using your phone app? To send a text from your PC, go to Messages. Here you can click on See Messages. Now all the conversation threads from the last 30 days appear. You can either click on a previous conversation or click the New Message button. As it can access your phone book, you can directly see it here in the suggestions when you start typing a name. Select it and start the conversation from the PC. This is how we use your phone app on Android. Let's move forward to iPhone. Open your phone app on PC. Now you need to sign in your Microsoft account. If you don't have one, click on create. On the next page, enter your phone number and a link will be sent to your iPhone as a message. On your phone, click on the link and it will take you to the Microsoft Edge app page on the App Store. Download and install the app. Now sign in with your same Microsoft account and allow the app to access your web history.
Now your iPhone is connected to your PC. On your phone, open a web page on Microsoft Edge and locate phone icon from the bottom bar. Click on it and a message will prompt asking your permission to connect to your PC. Select your device you want to use from the list. This instantly opens the same web page on your PC on Microsoft Edge browser. You can open as many web pages on your iPhone and get them on your desktop screen. This feature helps majorly in relieving you with searching the same web pages again on your computer. Currently, you can only share web pages opened up on the iPhone on your PC. This way, with the help of your phone app, you can connect smartphones with PC easily. We hope you liked our video. Would you like our next video to be on? Please let us know in the comments below. Have a good day.